Make haste, then. We must leave anon. Good. Then let us be on our way. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I'm up to the challenge. Try not to get hit, lest all that rim go to waste. You've been doused in oil! You must steer clear of fire! to be called to your side arisen. That was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. The Arisen is the lawful ruler of Vermin. So it has always been. To claim the title is to claim the throne. Yet not all claims are true. Our kingdom sees many pretenders, and they are not dealt with lightly. Best hope you're not one of them. Regardless, you would do well not to invite my mistrust on our journey. Material such as this can be combined to craft things. Hold here a moment. I shall bid them open the gate. Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An Arisen, by all appearances. An Arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see the Sovereign's ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying their trade. It is uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he's up in the palace. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I will make my report to the capital. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however, who can say? All's been arranged. Come, let us pass through the gate. Would that such tranquility could last? I suppose it is so.
An ox cart was meant to meet us, yet it is nowhere in sight. Or it may have befallen it. Best we press on. What felt from the beast as it breathed its last? Is everyone all right? More marks of the dragon's fury. Its rampage must have weakened the earth here. was impeccably timed, Arisen. I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. Onward! It might await us on the road ahead.
Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Off we go then. Shall we get underway? Here, water is seeping through the cracks. of indecision may spell out to you. Ah yes, now I see. Seem I misjudged you. I had taken you for another force arisen. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Yet the valley you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Here, take this as a mark of my trust. Give it to one of the sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brandt. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch. And I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well, I. Of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the Oxcart. Tis your decision. Ah, here's the cart now. Do you intend to join us? Very well. Board the ox cart and we'll be off. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. One hopes these carts offer comfort commensurate to their costs. Thank you. 
rotten luck. We've need of your aid again, sir. Goblins are close! We need not shrink from danger. We need the strength to prevail over anything. I knew you would prevail, Master. Keep on like that. We've done this soon enough. Not bad. Seems we drove them off. You've my thanks for aiding us. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? All right. Into the ox cart, then. I was informed of your coming would be arisen. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first, it would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed. He is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. You, and no other, are the Sovereign. The only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule. Yet, not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deeser of everything. During the time of the previous council, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the council's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place, word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deeser, your Majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct Your Majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the Sovereign in your stead. A mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. 
I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in a tavern that we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? Pray forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Consign it! Get back here! You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. You're a kind one, aren't you? It would seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Aha! There you are! Oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next we meet. Farewell. There's a ladder here. After you were risen. What am I to do? All this work and not a shred of gratitude. I'm almost as tired as I am. Say, have I seen you around? I heard a rumour that this land was once a kingdom of Beastrons. Fascinating. Quite, though no definitive records remain. Ought catch your eye. Just say the word. Go on, have a look. Pleasure doing business. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch, in my case. Now there's a worthy prize, if only to went so far away. Greetings. Welcome to the Guild Hall. Here, we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may assist you with, simply say the word.
Forgive me, but I'm afraid we are not accepting registration for warriors or sorcerers at this time. You see, as we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand, we are unable to outfit new members. And we cannot simply purchase more, as the delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds in this domain was plundered by goblins. So regrettably, I cannot assist you. Unless you were to procure a weapon yourself, that is. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Methinks Roderick will be able to tell you aught of the stolen shipment. He runs the local armory, and we purchase almost all of our stock from him. May fortune smile upon you, sir. We'll not find anything if we don't start looking. Greetings. Well, here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to booking. If there is aught, I'm do come again. Can't afford any mistakes. Plenty of gossip to be had here. Well met, sir. Feeling it. 